<laughs> Megan Hicks of I Run Far. I'm with Thibaut Garivier. It's the day before the 2019 The North Face Endurance Challenge 50 Mile Championships. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the U.S., but you have been here adventuring and traveling for a week. Yeah, we spent one week traveling uh, through California from Lake Tao and then Yosemite and then um, visiting uh, Oka, Oka buildings yeah, in Santa Monica. Uh -huh. So we spent good, very good week there. You've had a big week already before even the 50 mile race starts. Yeah, actually we didn't, um, we, we went on the, on the race just to discover some parts of her and yeah, we just visit and not so much uh, trail running during this week. Um, so when you first arrived to California, you were here in Marin looking at the course, is that right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We spent two days on the race, on the course, to discover the, um, this special runnable um, race for me. So it will be very fast and succession of up and down. So there is not so much of flat section and no technical um, section. But uh, yeah, I'm very exciting to race it there because it will be my first time in such a runnable uh, race, mm. so yeah. That's always something I'm very interested to learn about is when somebody comes from Western Europe where it's usually quite a lot steeper and quite a lot more technical, what you think of a course like this? Yeah, as I said, I'm yeah, I'm very excited to to discover this. Um, I like uh, running fast, fast running. So um, yeah, I have to um, to discover um, how I am uh, in in this special um, race, uh, especially compared to um, top athletes as uh, Seb Speller and maybe Jared. Yeah. So, um and Dylan Bowman so this is i think a top runners in the world uh, on on this on this runnable race mm -hmm. so it will be fun for you to try something new yeah 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 very fun and i i think i will start with um with Seb um i will try to to follow him and then we will see maybe He's very, very fast um, in uphill, so um, I try to, to grip him. <laughs> <laughs> try to stay in contact. Yes, yeah, stay in contact. And yeah, I think uh, we'll have um, a good Oka crew during the race, so um, okay. to, yeah, to manage uh, at aid station. Mm -hmm. So um, it will be uh, very helpful. Um, yeah. Hopefully it will work. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk for a minute about your 2019 season in running. You've had like really great success. You were first at the Transvolcania Ultra Marathon and second at CCC. You must feel really good about your year in running so far. Yeah. Actually, it's, it's a very special year for me because um, I start um, very, very good with uh, winning Transvolcania. Uh, in mid-May, and then I um, I was I was injured during oh. um, maybe four months. Really? And yeah, I didn't uh, I didn't race during a sky running World Series, mm -hmm. uh, which was one on, of my uh, first objective of uh, of this year. So um, I was very disappointed. And I come back, uh, try running, uh, maybe in the um, yeah, it's in the start of August, and then I uh, run wow. CCC. But I was very, very motivated and very excited to to race, so I, I pushed very hard. And yeah, the result was very surprising for me to yeah. finish second there, behind uh, Luis Alberto, which was a great performance for for me. Mm. So, um, yeah, it's kind of a um, very special year. Can I ask what your injury was? Uh, it was a, a tenosivitis, uh -huh. um, 
of the tibial posterior. Okay. So um, yeah, it takes a long time. To recover. Yeah, to recover. Ah, uh, so was your second at CCC then kind of surprising? Like yeah. that you were injured and only had a little training? Yeah, yeah, very surprising. And I keep very motivated and keep cycling during uh, July, August. Um, I started actually running in mid-July okay. uh, during uh, one of the Skyrunner World Series uh, in, in Spain. But I didn't finish because mm. um, yeah, it hurts uh, too much. So I I take a few few times so to to recover to fully recover. Wow. Um, when did the North Face Fifty come on your schedule? Um, have you been thinking about it all summer, or has it been since your fitness has been coming back? How did you decide yeah. to come here? Yeah, it's more like this. Um, I started to, to think about in September as um, I was uh, initially planned to race in World Championship, okay. um, which is tomorrow. Happening right now. Yeah. yeah, the, uh, yeah and the long, long distance. distance tomorrow. Uh, yeah. So, uh -huh. um, and then uh, there was a, a new situation to, to take me off. So, mm. um, so yeah, I, I, I decided to plan um, a, a race which which I was dreaming of, okay. and uh, it was uh, a long race, uh, about uh, 50, 50 miles. So it was there or maybe in Saint Elion in December, yeah. and I, I chose there because of uh, this super place and yeah, discovering. Um, California and uh, American runners and I enjoyed to to race uh, with and against uh, the other kids there. Very interesting. Do you, uh, how has your, do you change your training at all? Because St. Leon is mm. more runnable than some races in Europe, but it's still much more hilly <laughs> and stuff than yeah. this. How have you, yeah, have you been practicing more Faster terrain and yeah, actually I have to um, to train more on flat section okay. to okay. to recover to um, to get more speed and okay. yeah it, it come back um, at a good pace for for um, for I did good trainings in good pace mm -hmm. so um, I'm quite confident uh, for this part what I um, what I am more um, not conf not so much confident is for succession of um, very very fast downhill. Uh -huh. So um, I think it, it will be very uh, damaging for the muscle, <laughs> and yeah, it will be okay for 50k to 60k, and then we will see. <laughs> and then you will tolerate the pain. Yeah, hopefully. yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, um, the uphill are not so much uh, steep, so the gradient is average, I think, uh, 10 to 15 percent. So, yeah, it's uh, very, very runnable to in, in the uphill, uphill section. So, yeah, I think for the muscle, it will be very, very, very hard. Very fatiguing for yeah, the muscles. Yeah. yeah. Well, best of luck to you in yeah. trying something new yeah. <laughs> and running around the Marin Headlands tomorrow. And we look forward to chasing you around. Yeah, thank you very much. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right, I have a fun bonus question for you. <laughs> you've been traveling around California. What's yeah. been the most favorite thing you've seen in the last week? Mm, uh... I like very much um, South Lake Tao. Okay. The area um, with Romain, we we said we will spend more 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 days to hike, run, and um, and bike uh, mm. mountain biking for sure. You want to go back? Yeah, 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 for sure. Very cool. <laughs> All right. Good luck to you. Yeah. Thank you, Megan. That was a great.